the first step you want to do is find a nice board to put your plate on. Then roll out some coils and place underneath the plate on all four sides. What we're doing is we're stabilizing the plate so it doesn't slide around on your board. Now you can start taking your clay and building outward. square to square this off when you cut your clay but it doesn't really matter you can eyeball it just follow the edge of the plate stay about two inches away cut off the edge of this clay. if you were making a waste mold just a quick mold that you didn't really you just wanted to pour you could go with this you could put your keys in your clay pour your first half but we're going to do a nice clean professional mold that you would actually buy from a mold company. Okay, I'm going to use my tool here to go around the entire piece and clean up my seam line. So just start at one point, drag your tool. There we go. The piece is clayed up and we're ready to pour the first half. thing to remember, since this plate is already glazed, it will not need any release on it. Neither will the clay since it's an oil base. Okay, now that our boards are on, our clamps are still lightly loose, loosen them a little more and push the board backward toward the clay. Tighten your clamp. Do the same thing with each board. Loosen it, push, tighten. Loosen, push, tighten. We want to make some coils like we did in the last video and we're going to seal this from the inside and like I explained it keeps the plaster when you pour it in it pushes outward and forces this clay into the cracks okay. drop your coil Start on one side of your boards, pouring your plaster on top of your piece. Once it starts to cover your piece, stick your finger on the highest point of the plate. And what we do is, this is a measurement. When it comes up to your first knuckle, that is an inch. That's thick enough for this plate. Now, submerge your hand into the plaster and we're going to pat the piece. And what that's doing is it's forcing the air upward away from our piece. In about 20 minutes, take off our boards and I'll show you how to finish the first half of the mold.
Now that we removed our boards, we're going to take our mold off the board. Take your scraper put between your board and your clay. Clay, hold down on your piece so it doesn't pull up as you're removing the clay. Plaster's good and cold now, so the piece should release fairly easy. You can use a rubber mallet. Pick up your piece and just tap the edges. What you're trying to do is vibrate the mold slightly so the piece will release. Don't hit it too hard or you'll break your mold. Looks like it's coming loose. Just tip it back, hold your hand out of the piece, and let it drop out. And there's our first half of the mold. We're going to go and clean up the, seam, the edges of the seam line and put in our keys and then we'll make our second half. Now that we have our first half of our rooster plate we're going to clean up the seam line. What we'll be using is just a regular straight shear form blade a curved cheer form blade which is really nice for the so just begin on the outside and work your way toward the seam line you don't want to get too deep as you can see we've got close but we haven't got near the edge of the seam line we want to be careful when we get close to it. Now, the rest of this plate's kind of contoured in places where the plate will, the seam line will move up and down. You take your curved shear form blade and get a little closer to the edge but watch the seam line be real careful not to take down too much and just follow the piece all the way around don't worry about trying to get too deep or too perfect with the shear form we're going to do the rest with sanding screen See, we've got real close, but we've still got some contours to go here. So we're going to use our loop tool to get a little closer and just take those down slightly. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to take this over to our sink. We're going to do the final finishing with. 